Hi, so this is the Snugpack Softy 3 Merlin. Um, this has been around for about 20 years, probably longer. I've had one for at least 20 years, because I'm getting old. Um, so, um, really good sleeping bag. Uh, this is their lightest sleeping bag, or their, their uh, sort of sleeping bag for summer months. Uh, so it's got a temperature rating from uh, five degrees Celsius down to about zero at an extreme level. Um, it weighs in, I think it's about one kilo, uh, maybe just under one kilo, and as you can see, the pack size is really small. So uh, really good sleeping bag, but let's uh, let's get into it and I'll, I'll, we'll show you what, it, what the features. Looks very much like all the rest of the Snug Pack Softy range, uh, but olive green um, and uh, left-handed zip on it. So there's the ongoing conversation with regards to having a central zip versus a left or right-handed zip, um, personally. And I've got this exact same sleeping bag, as I said. Um, I end up sleeping on my side despite trying to sleep on my back all night. And I like having a zip on the left-hand side. It means I can get to it nice and quickly. Um, Basically, the sleeping bag hasn't changed for a very, very long time. Technology upgrades and things have come in, so the fabric's got better, the zips have changed, and et cetera, over the, over the decades that the sleeping bag's been around for, but it's been used by many, many hundreds of thousands, of hundreds or thousands of um, guys and girls across the world, uh, from Jungles to Brecon to Otterburn to everywhere. Will, do you want to take us through some of the, uh, the features of it? Yeah, sure. So um, alongside, you've got a full-length zip which is reinforced in the back to reduce um, sort of snagging when you're opening and closing the sleeping bag. Um, on the bottom, you've also, you've got the other zip, which allows for ventilation. So if you're starting to build up with a little bit too much heat in there, you can vent it all out uh, from the bottom. Um, and then also whilst at the bottom, you've also got a reinforced foot box area. So that's what that black fabric is there. Um, so you can wear your boots whilst you're inside the sleeping bag without having to worry about damaging it at all. Um, on the top of the sleeping bag, you've also got an elasticated hood, so which is also cinchable as well. So again, if you wanted to retain more of the warmth, you can cinch it nice and tight around your head. Um, and then finally, on the front of the bag, you'll notice that there's no stitch lines. Um, and the reason for that is to reduce the number of cold spots um, in the sleeping bag. Traditionally, um, when you have stitch line, it uh, thins the insulation, which means you have a cold spot. With this, it has a more even distribution of warmth throughout the bag. So yeah, fantastic sleeping bag, been around for years, as I've said. Um, one of the really good things about this size sleeping bag, and uh, this, this level in the range of snowpack sleeping bags, so this is the three, and you can also do this with the six. They make fantastic upgrades to some of their bigger sleeping bags or warmer sleeping bags. So you can take this softy three and put it into a softy 12, that would then give you a really, really good winter, very late autumn um, Scottish sleeping bag system. Or you could take the six and put it into the 12, or you could take the three and put it into a nine, etc. So you can do lots and lots with a sleeping bag this size. Um, fantastic sleeping bag, as I said. Comfort level of about five degrees going down to about zero degrees. So that really good all round or travel sleeping bag uh, for when you're going off to transit camps and things like that. Quick, quick drying. Um, synthetic, so not the same as down, um, so this will keep you warm even when it gets wet. So that's the Softy Merlin 3 from the Snowpack range.